come up with this topic that I'm about to do. It's a start bench or cut. That's right, folks. Start bench or cut between Sam Howell, Derek Carr, and his boy, Kenny Pickett. That's right, folks. Kenny Pickett. For me, and I think Derek Carr has been taking a shit ton of criticism. Look, Derek Carr may not be the best quarterback in the world, but I think he was subjected to a lot of horrible situations in Las Vegas with John Gruden and, of course, um, um, who's the, oh, yeah, Henry Ruggs III, Der, um, Damon Arnett or Derek Arnett. Derek Carr was in a terrible situation with the Raiders. And on top of that, that defense. Considering the fact that he's in the NFC South and he's with the New Orleans Saints and he's reunited with his former defensive coordinator going back to the Raiders, Dennis Allen, who they've built and had to repair uh, a rapport, a relationship going back to their days with um, Oakland. I do think that Derek Carr is going to play well this season. So I'm going to start Derek Carr. And I think Derek Carr is going to ball out and have a Pro Bowl season. Because if you look at the NFC, outside of Jalen Hurts right now, folks, you look at the quarterbacks within that conference, who can you say is the second best? Dak Prescott? Jared Goff? Geno Smith? Who? Because if you look at the AFC, it's just loaded. And bench. Is it between Kenny Pickett or Sam Howell? And I'm going to bench Sam Howell and I'm going to cut Kenny Pickett. Even though Kenny Pickett has George Pickens and unfortunately the Steelers fucking drafted Darnell Washington, which dumbass Warren Rivera and the commanders did not draft. They should have drafted Darnell Washington, and unfortunately the Steelers took him. Because I don't trust Logan Thomas at this point. But you know what? I'm going to go with Sam Howell. Because let's be honest, folks. Are the Steelers favorite to win the division? No. You got Cincinnati. You got um, my boy Dev. And shout out to Dev with his podcast at the Bank Podcast about his uh, his Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore is going to compete in that division. And even though Deshaun Watson with his. What happened to him last year and with all the off the field issues he's been subjected to. I'm not going to rule out the Cleveland Browns. I'm not going to rule out Deshaun Watson. At best, Pittsburgh's probably going to finish last place. And when you look at Washington, who has better receivers? Washington or Pittsburgh? I mean, they got George Pickens, but George Pickens is no scary Terry. He's no Terry McLaurin. And also, we got Jahan Dotson. And also, too, we got De'Ami Brown. We also got Curtis Samuel. We got some valid, legitimate deep threats. And also, he talks, uh, Jay talks about Najee Harris. Don't sleep on Brian Robinson and don't sleep on Antonio Gibson, and especially who we got as an offensive coordinator in Eric Bieniemy. You don't think Eric Bieniemy is going to find a way to utilize those guys? Of course he is. He's going to do his job. He's going to put them in the best position possible in order to get, uh, in order to get the right type of results, right type of production. So, yeah, you know what? Just like Jay said that Sam Howell is going to be better than Derek Carr, I actually believe Sam Howell is going to actually be better than Kenny Pickett. So, to make a long story short, folks, start Derek Carr because he's in the best situation. I think the Saints are going to win the division. 
because they have because he's the best quarterback on paper compared to all the other quarterbacks in that division. 